Hello, I'm Jari Beb, and in this video I'm going to explain how to play through this uh, Trilogy Suite Opus 5. So I'm going to explain some of my playing techniques. So I'm going through some uh, left hand fingerings and also going to talk about right hand plucking techniques. So there are uh, many cases used three fingers and also different two finger combinations. I heard you were talking about something about three finger plucking techniques. Are you really any good in that? I can show you something. You can try this after me. So sorry about that. Okay, I guess we can continue now after Rat Maniac. So I could uh, first I could uh, tell a few things about the tuning and about the bass and uh, about the techniques. So in this song, uh, uh, the bass is tuned half step down, as Ingwe normally does. So the lowest string is E flat and high string is uh, B. So actually this tuning on my bass is it's like a normal standard bass from E, A, D, G plus high C. But of course in this case it's B, <laughs> half step down. And uh, uh, so if you have a five string bass you can uh, change the strings to, to have uh, this higher tuning. Or if you have a six string bass, then you just use uh, five high strings. I try always to play as near to a bridge as possible, because there is less vibration, string vibration, if you compare when you play it from position like here, near to the fretboard. Um, yeah, let me show. And now from a bridge. Okay, uh, it's not as powerful sound as you played from here, but uh, it's more stable. There is, there is not so big peaks on the sound. Also, when I play it from, a, from lower strings, you can hear the difference. Here is one example. <laughs> I think that's one key factor, especially when you play fast notes, no, not so big uh, peaks in the sound. One more thing of what I could tell about my right hand uh, technique is that uh, I do not support all, all my, lean my thumb anywhere, not into the um, Pickups or not the strings because I think it's quite clumsy. It's a kind of limiting uh, technique. So I do it like this. So uh, I kind of lean it on the strings, but side of a thumb, so it can move easily from here. So it's not stuck anywhere. 
And also additional thing or benefit with this technique is that uh, it damps lower strings. When I play here, it damps these strings. But if I play it like this, quite important, especially when you play on the stage and a bit loud volumes. And slowly. when you go up to here you need to do pull off because there is no really time to play each note separately <laughs> Okay, I go this through slowly, note by note. last run is a little bit different than others. Just it's shorter. A few things about this. So I'm using uh, two different type of uh, right hand techniques. So here when I playing this, uh, this run, I use three fingers. And this part I play with two fingers, just alternating uh, index and uh, middle finger. <laughs> Of course, it could be played by three fingers also. But I think I will get more stable, uh, stable sound. Not so much peaks when I use two fingers. Three fingers. Ok, 
Okay, let's go forward to the next section. Okay, I play it slowly now, note by note. played in very slow tempo but I could show my right hand techniques in here so uh, way how he, he plays this one in guitar is like he sweeps these two strings but with the fingers there is a possibility to pick or pluck every each note like this. But to get it uh, sound more fluent, or so I am using two fingers only. So, so these two notes I will uh, plug first one with the uh, index finger, next one with the ring finger. Why I don't use uh, middle finger? The reason is that uh, if I try to play with this finger, it's like this. Then it's harder for me. It's it's not so natural as I keep it like this because uh, my middle finger is too long. So I, I was thinking about okay, this like when I put my hand like this. They are in correct position already, these fingers. And also, when I play like this, I can again mute my strings with my thumb. If I use my index and middle finger, it's like... It's very hard to keep damp the strings in the same time with my thumb. So this angle in my, in my wrist is very odd and uh, unnatural. But when I play with, uh, with index and... Uh, ring finger tends to really natural to do like this and the next one is when i'm coming to here this arpe arpeggios is i rake my fingers on the strings like this and uh, next one we come to here so here I am I am using three fingers so that's uh, normal it's like this so it means a uh, ring middle and uh, index ring middle and ring the index and here is bending from 23rd fret to 24th so half step then we come back again to where we started more or less these parts we did go through already. Okay, next one is guitar solo. I play it slowly. 
There are a few things in this solo. First one is this arpeggio, how it starts. So I pick up these first three notes. Last one is hammer. And there is pull off. Then you touch the roll with three fingers. So this last part here. So there is arpeggio again. And bending. Whole step bending. Okay, next solo. Okay, I guess it went something like that. <laughs> Let me play it slowly. So here is uh, just one. the index and the middle fingers because they are fastest and the strongest one it's a really, really, little bit clumsy with let's say with ring and pinky I cannot do it I noticed that it's only possibility to, to do possibility for me to do with index and the middle finger here is the same thing not possible like this. No way. And here is it. So I hope you got something out from this video and uh, find out my techniques what I'm using. Of course, if you have any questions, you can send me a message and ask more details. Thank you for watching and uh, to the end of a video I'm going to improvise something. I don't know exactly what, but you will see. But anyhow, until the next time, bye.